welcome to Photo Speak. Hey there, folks. This week I got a lot of stuff filmed. Well, sort of. I did spend most of the week in the hospital because an abscess formed on the back of my neck and my blood sugar was so high that I couldn't leave the hospital until both my sugars were lowered and the abscess could get lanced a few times and showed signs of healing. That put a huge dent in my filming and editing schedule as I wanted to get some videos made for Beckenfield and for the rest of my ideas, including Living Soul Fest. So I hope you enjoy this sampler of what could be edited and presented to you throughout this week. I got a phone call to take. Hello? Hey. Hello there. You don't listen too well, do you? Hello there. Hello. Hello. So what's going on in Facebook land? Uh, updating. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Um From Cinema Blend Marvel Spot Preview arrives online. Marvel. You'll be able to do this, are you? I can't hear you. So, you can hear me? Yeah, so this is what goes on on Facebook. Hey there, folks. We um we just spent the whole morning moving a lot of photos and videos and music from 2011 and some from 2012 over to the terabyte, the two terabyte drive that I have. Um, kind of clean this out. Fresh start, like I was supposed to get a month ago, but but didn't because you know I wasn't thinking straight. But. <clears throat> so anyway, um to start the new year off on February 4th, 2012, um is uh. From the Blue Letter Bible, this is basically our daily Bible reading that we're supposed to be doing anyway. It is Isaiah chapter 34. Come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them, he hath delivered them to the slaughter. Hey folks, it's Josh, and I am 
actually in church recording this. Um, I figured I'd do this until service started. And... Hey there. You're watching Josh Tube. You're watching that Christian show. Hey there. You're watching Living Soul Fest. Beck and Fielders. It's a bright and sunny day in my corner of town and I was actually thinking of filming something around my neighborhood before I move from what is proving to be a temporary housing into an even more temporary housing. <clears throat> but before I do that, I was actually thinking of going outside and filming some shots of the neighborhood. I just said that, didn't I? Oh boy, I wonder what's happening. Are some plants trying to get control of my mind? <clears throat> anyway, I noticed that a lot of the locales around Beckenfield don't have much for exterior interior shots that kind of goes along with any idea an idea my twin had for his youtube channel a while back unfortunately it was an idea he could never get to catch on with the handful of people that view his channels i happen to notice that idea going full swing in beckenfield or at least the potential for it to swing anyway i see a lot of vlogs going on but i wonder if anyone lives who lives in beckenfield actually leaves their house <laughs> I thought I was just taking a picture of me. Alright, that's cool. Um, so, this morning my face So yeah, one of the things that I want to do is kind of like a segment of content is to read some fiction to you and, um, but I'm not going to read to you like stuff I've already read recently. Um, like for instance, I'm going to read to you, um, a short story called The Seven Who Were Hanged. But I'm not going to reread the entire chapter one for you. I'm going to start where I left off, which is the last two paragraphs of chapter one. And that's, um, people began to run here and there in the shadows upon the walls. Lamps flared up. There were not enough of them to give light, but there were enough to cast shadows. The shadows appeared everywhere. They rose in the corners. They stretched across the ceiling, tremulously clinging to each and every elevation. They covered the walls, and it was hard to understand where all these innumerable, deformed, silent shadows, voiceless souls of voiceless objects had been before. Um, a deep, trembling voice said something loudly. Then the doctor was hastily summoned by telephone. The dignitary was collapsing. The wife of His Excellency was also called. And next time I do this, it'll be Chapter 2. Um, this is how my head feels. It actually is swollen like that. <laughs> um, so, um, from my prayer journal app. Um, for me, help me stop eating foods that affect my diabetes, diabetes negatively. For Amanda Mason, what's good? For Soulfest, bless the hands of all the volunteers. For me, yes, I know that I need to be around people that are living in victory, but none of the ones I know want me around, so what then? <laughs> um, for me, I will follow my lose it plan today. Okay. 